Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today I have my June favorites. I have an array of different items. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna start off with handbags. I always like to start off with handbags because I feel like it kind of gets me in the groove of my favorites. Uh, so for this month, I definitely use two bags more than anything else. And uh, usually when it starts to get hot, especially for June, even though I do like uh, big totes or big bags, that's usually what I end up gravitating towards uh, in general. Um, whenever we have these crazy high temperatures, the last thing that I want is a big old bag. You know what I mean? Even though I do enjoy them, it's just, it's way too much added heat going on up here. And I'm just like, no, I don't want anything to do with that. So I really ended up using this beauty quite a bit this month. This is the Furla Julia bag. Uh, I did a recent unboxing on it probably about a month, month and a half ago, but this is an awesome bag. I absolutely love it. I've had literally zero issues with wear, no problems with like the hardware scratching or anything like that. Uh, this is in the color uh, Oxblood or Burgundy. I can't remember exactly what the tag said, but I think that these are incredible, incredible bags. Plus, they have an awesome price point. So if you want to try out a smaller handbag and you don't want to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on it and then maybe, you know, you end up finding out that it's not for you, this is an awesome way to go. And I know that on, on the unboxing video, I had said that I really wanted to add the white one. And I kind of tried to, you know, refrain from doing any more shopping or anything like that. So I haven't gotten it yet, but um, yeah, I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think I could hold out any longer. Because if June was this bad, I already know that July and August are gonna be really crazy hot. So I think that a white Julia Furla bag would be awesome, you know, for any outfit. So. This is, uh, this is an amazing, amazing bag. I highly recommend it. Like I said, no issues with, uh, with the material or with the leather. It doesn't have any feet. And I really like the fact that you can remove the chain. I didn't really end up using it without the chain. Um, I mostly used it crossbody. But you have enough space in here for the three little credit card slots. And it just fits just the right essentials. You know what I mean? You're not going to get away with carrying like 15 to 16 items. Not at all. But for what you're going for and to not necessarily have to go for a big old bag, yeah, this is an awesome, awesome way to go. So the Furla Julia bag in the Oxblood or Burgundy, what have you with the champagne hardware. Um, and you can find the Julia bags like at Saks Off the Fifth, uh, Neiman Marcus Last Call. I think Nordstrom Rack also has a few of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I am on the hunt for that white one and hopefully I can add it soon to my collection. All right, and the other bag that I use quite a bit is this beauty, which is the Louis Vuitton Pouche Accessoire new model in the monogram canvas. I am just crazy about these bags and along the same lines as what I was talking about with the Julia bag, I just don't want to carry a big tote or anything like that. And even though it is small, it is somewhat deceiving because you can get away with carrying a lot more than you would think in here. So you do have to go compact, but not necessarily as compact as as a wallet on chain or anything like that. Uh, but I think that these are awesome. And uh, I particularly like the new model a little bit more just because it does have a little bit of a longer uh, shoulder strap. So that way if you were to use this with a cardigan or a jacket, it won't be uncomfortable when you go to put it on your arm. But uh, yeah, it's deceiving, absolutely. It packs a punch and uh, it's also very versatile because I know that some people end up using um, they end up attaching longer straps to this so that way you can use it crossbody or you can use it as a longer shoulder bag or you can take off the strap completely and use it as a little mini handbag or even put this D-ring on this side and use it as a wristlet. So um, I think that it has quite a bit of function to it and it also has an amazing, amazing price point. So the Louis Vuitton Pouche Accessoire new model in the monogram canvas. Now let's move on to makeup. I did do a makeup haul this past month and a huge thank you to a lot of you guys for the awesome recommendations. I've been having a lot of fun with the items that I picked up. Uh, so the first one that I want to share with you that I used quite a bit since I purchased it is the Tom Ford um, eye palette. This palette is amazing. I love the colors. I didn't really think that they would work out for me, but um, I am so happy that I picked it up because I just, I love the way that, uh, that these look. But this is the number four honeymoon. It's just the eye color quad. And um, as you can see, I end up using these three a little bit more than that one. This one, sometimes I end up putting in the corners of my eye. But these three just work perfectly together. It's so easy to blend. You don't have any fallout or anything like that. And the, uh, and the darker colors also don't have a black undertone, which I really like because sometimes for me, it's really hard to blend um, 
those colors with the black undertone because then then it's a big old mess you know what I mean like I've told you guys before I'm not a makeup artist so I kind of learn things as I go along I'm not I'm not afraid to admit it uh, but I highly recommend uh, this palette and you only need a little bit like the pigment is just amazing I think it is an incredible incredible formula I'll just swatch it really quick so you guys can see the colors uh, on my skin tone so give me one second uh, because I know I forgot to swatch them when I, when I did my uh, makeup haul, but those are the colors on the um, on the eyeshadow palette. Very very beautiful. So the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad in 04 Honeymoon is awesome. Okay, now my next favorite. It is crazy how obsessed I am with this item. I am so happy that I gave it a chance because I have a feeling that this is probably one of my newer favorite brands for lipsticks. And I'm talking about Charlotte Tilbury. Oh yes, this is the Matte Revolution lipstick and the color is Pillow Talk. This color is perfection in my opinion. I know some people might think that I'm being a little too overdramatic, but I am just ridiculously happy about this lipstick. I think that it's a universal color that goes with any skin tone. Let me just swatch it so you guys can see it. But the formula is amazing. It's very, it's creamy, it's moisturizing, um, and I haven't had any problems with it feathering or anything like that. There it is. But I think that this is an incredible, incredible color. Now, usually when it comes to Pillow Talk, uh, from the recommendations that, that I was getting, a lot of people end up going for the lip liner. Personally, myself, I'm not a big fan of lip liners, so that's why I went for the lipstick but I'm so happy that I did. And uh, not only does it have an incredible formula, but this, the smell of this, <laughs> it smells fantastic. It reminds me of the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes. You know how they have that cocoa type of scent to them? This is exactly what that smells like. So it smells like chocolate, you know? So it's like a win-win. <laughs> so I think that this is awesome. If you're looking for a new lipstick, I highly, highly recommend uh, Pillow Talk. Um, I also did pick up Very Victoria. That one's a little bit darker, and I have used it um, a bit, but not as much as this one. This one is just, <laughs> so far, it's uh, it's my number one, and like I said, I've had a lot of fun with it, and I really like the packaging, too. You guys know I'm a nut when it comes to the packaging for lipsticks, which always ends up, you know, drawing me in. It's like, if it has the shiny packaging, if it has a simple packaging, or whatever it is, it's like, it's, it's, it's like a mini magnet, you know? <laughs> and it's like, hook, line, and sinker, we got her type of thing. <laughs> so... Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I highly, highly recommend. Awesome formula. The next item that I want to share with you, I've had for almost two years now, if I'm not mistaken. It's still going strong. I haven't hit pants. So that makes me very happy. But it is another Tom Ford product. And this is the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in 01 Mood Light. And uh, let me just open it up so you guys can check it out. I use it every single day. It's what I'm wearing right now. Uh, so it is a little bit dirty, but you do have uh, the highlighter and you also have the bronzer here. And I used to blend uh, the bronzer with blush, but I decided against it. And now I just end up using the two. And it ends up uh, working out perfectly for me. Uh, but um, lately, I, I think probably for the last two weeks, I've wanted to go for a little bit more of a simpler look, if you will. Uh, and I say that very loosely because I'm still wearing makeup, but um, I wanted to wear something so that my skin can breathe because my skin has been breaking out really badly. I'm like super stressed out with whatever's going on. Uh, so I wanted my skin to be able to breathe and not necessarily have to worry about wearing foundation or powder or anything like that. So I opted to use this by itself. So I have my moisturizer on, I have uh, my highlighter, bronzer, or what have you. Um, I have mascara, I use the bronzer on my eyes, and then just my brows, that's it. So I want a little bit more of a simpler look. Um, not really, but it still gives me that glow without necessarily having to worry about you know, like I said before, the foundation or powder or anything like that. So I think it is an awesome, awesome um, formula. And this one actually ended up replacing a Christian Dior uh, duo that I had a long, long time ago. And when I hit pan and I was literally like on the corners, you know how like when you have a, whether it's an eyeshadow or a palette or whatever it is, and you love it so much, you're like going towards the corners to use every little bit that you can. I was doing that with the Dior and I didn't think that I'd be able to find another duo that, um, that was just as great. And this one definitely had some big, big shoes to fill and it has, it has excelled in, uh, in my expectations. So I highly recommend it if you want a new highlighter, if you want a new, um, bronzer it's perfect and uh, it does have quite a bit of sparkle to it 
so um, you know like most highlighters do but it's also not like overwhelming or you have these chunks of glitter or anything like that as I said before it gives you the perfect amount of glow without it necessarily making you look kind of funky or anything like that so the Tom Ford 01 mood light skin illuminating powder duo is awesome and let me just swatch it very quickly up close so you guys can see it even though uh, you can see it on my face right now here's the highlighter and there's the bronzer it's very very subtle but an awesome formula nonetheless uh, all right moving on to the last item for my makeup or skincare if you will it is this guy this is the Jack Black double duty face moisturizer this is the moisturizer that I was talking about a moment ago that I am using with uh, with a Tom Ford I have talked about this before and this moisturizer in my opinion is by far one of the best ones that I have ever tried because usually for me with moisturizers we don't really we don't really mesh too well. Like I'll get a moisturizer, it's really great for like the first week, week and a half, and then after that I start breaking out and it just it doesn't end up working out at all. But this one I have been using for, I don't know, maybe a year, year and a half now, if I'm not mistaken, but it is an awesome, awesome formula. It has blue algae extract, the sea parsley, it has um, SPF 20 sunscreen, and if you don't wanna wear any makeup at all, there's been times that I've done that as well, I wear absolutely no makeup, I just put on the moisturizer, and it just feels like my skin isn't dried out or anything like that. It doesn't clog my pores, it doesn't um, end up being too greasy or anything like that. And um, my husband actually has very sensitive skin and I have noticed that he uses he uses this as well and he really likes it and he hasn't had any issues with breaking out or what have you. So the Jack Black Double Duty Face Moisturizer is absolutely amazing and it also has a really great price point. I think that um, this is the 8.5 fluid ounces. I think this one was, I think, 48 38 or 36 maybe maybe 50 bucks I can't remember at uh, they sell it at Ulta they have it everywhere but if you want a new moisturizer that just really really does the job um, I highly recommend the Jack Black double duty face moisturizer it is absolutely awesome and like I said a great price point for what you end up getting uh, all right and then the last item that I have it's not makeup it's not skincare and it's not luxury goods they are some good old jeans now as many of you know I pretty much live in debt and denim shorts all summer long spring summer what have you that and t-shirts so anytime I find a really great pair of jean shorts I, I end up wearing them like nonstop, like almost back to back. And uh, this pair of uh, Hudson's is incredible. This is the Ruby Mid Thigh Shorts, uh, but it's, I really like the color. They're very, very soft. Um, and I also like the fact that they have something on the, the back pockets because I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the, um, <laughs> How can I put this? I don't have the best, you know, dairy air area or what have you, you know, so I feel that with the pockets, it makes it look like I have something going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm turning red because I'm embarrassing myself. Uh, but I really like the pockets. They're, it's a very, very comfortable short. It's not too, too short and it's not too long. Uh, but um, I'm just a fan of Hudson just because of the way that they feel it has a little bit of a stretch to it so it doesn't make it like to the point where you put them on you're like <gasps> holding your breath because they're too tight no it has quite a bit of give which I am all about because I need to be comfortable that is my thing I need to be comfortable over anything else so uh, these jean shorts from Hudson are awesome like I said the ruby mid thigh shorts um, and they do run uh, true to size in my opinion but they are great nonetheless so if you don't have <laughs> if you if you need a little bit of support or a little bit of a of a look on the back in the back then the shorts with these little pockets here are perfect <laughs> uh, all right you guys so that does it for my favorites i hope you enjoyed it i hope i was able to help by giving you some um a little bit more information on these items. If you have any of these, let me know in the comments section down below if you love them. But again, thank you guys. Uh, a huge, I mean, a huge, huge thank you for all of the help with the makeup. I'm having a lot of fun with it and looking forward to, uh, to picking up a few goodies. So if you have any other recommendations on makeup, let me know in the comments section down below. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere 
from two to three times a week, and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.